Hi everyone, Miss Cook here, and I'm going to show you guys how to build a magic monster edition machine. And the job that this monster is going to do is it's going to help us reach our learning intention, which for this week is to add small groups of numbers together. So first of all, you're going to need to collect some things from around your house. And I'll talk you through what I've got here. You can be creative here. You can jump onto Google because this isn't the only way to make an addition machine, but this is how I've done it. Done it. So you can see to start off with, I found an old shoe box. This is perfect, but any kind of box, a tissue box, a cereal box, anything you can find around the house will do just fine. Then you'll need some colored paper. You can see down here, I've made some tubes. You can do it just like I've done. I've just rolled up some colored paper and stuck it down with glue. Or you could use something like a paper cup, which you could cut the bottom off because you want your tube to be hollow. You want something to be able to go in one end and out the other end. These are going to be like your monster's eating tubes. It's how we're going to get food like numbers to its brains. Then you'll see I've got some textures, a pencil, some scissors, a glue stick, and I've got some little tens frames here. Now you might be able to draw some tens frames on some blank paper, or you might be able to print them out, or you might decide not to use them at all. But I'm going to use them because they're going to help me think like a mathematician. Then I just found some pretty little um, glitter letters, which I'm going to cut up and just use for decoration. All right, and up here, I've got a big box of coloring in papers and textures because I want this monster um, edition machine to be cool. All right, so you can see on my box here, what I've done is I've cut two holes in the top of my monster. This is going to be my monster's head. And this is how we're going to get numbers into the, into the monster's brains. Maybe we're making ears. I'm not really sure what they are, but they're cool, whatever they are. So you can see I've got this one here. I've got my hollow tube, just a rolled up piece of paper glued together. And I'm going to stick it into the top of my monster's head just like this. Now I'm not going to stick it all the way down so that it um, goes to the bottom because I want the things that I drop in here to land inside my monster's brain. Then I'm going to get this one here and put it in as well and I'm going to make him about the same height. So it looks just like that. Then I've got to make the monster's mouth. So I'm going to turn my monster around and rah, this is my monster's mouth. You can see I've stuck four tens frames on here, um, which if you can count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, means my monster can have 40 bites today. You might not want to use that many. You need to use the just right number for you. If you just want to use one tens frame and work on numbers to 10, great. If you want to work on numbers to 20, great. If you think you're ready for a challenge, you make it the right number for you. Okay, so I've just stuck that down here. All right, now I would like you guys to go off on a search and find all of these things and meet me back here because I'm going to show you what this edition monster machine is going to look like once we've bedazzled it. Okay, I'll see you all. Hi everybody, welcome back. While you were gone finding all the things you needed to make your edition machine, I got crafty and I wanted to make my edition machine look like a really cute monster. So we already put the little tubes up the top here, which makes it look kind of like Shrek or something. And then I just got some paper. I traced around a little round thing to make a nice round circle. And I made my monster two eyes. Your monster might have one giant eye or it might have 10 eyes, whatever you like, because remember, it's a monster. Okay, I'd already made the mouth in my box by cutting down the sides of my box and leaving a little flap here so my monster can open and close its mouth. And then I put this sign in the middle of my two monsters, I like to call them feeding tubes. You might know what this sign means. It's the addition sign. 
we call it a plus sign. All right, and up the top here, just to make my monster cute, I gave it a name. My monster's name is Oozle. All right, and that's just because that's what I could find lying around my house. Okay, so um, my monster looks pretty good. I want you to have heaps of fun. I want you to make your monster any way you like. You might like to add some pipe cleaners. You might like to add ears on the side, maybe some teeth. Actually, that sounds like a really good idea. I think I want to add some teeth to mine. And of course, I've stuck some tense frames in my monster here. Now, today we're just going to have fun. We're going to practice feeding the monster. And then tomorrow, we are going to practice recording our addition sentences. That's what our monster's here for. A, to have fun, and B, to help us learn. So you could use some drop bits of dried pasta, or I've seen people use Fruit Loops, or pom-poms, or anything at all. You could even roll up little bits of paper if you didn't have anything. I've got a little jar of marbles here that I like to use as counters. So the first thing I'm going to do is feed this monster. Are you hungry? Um, um, um. I think that means yes. That's oozle speak for I'm hungry. I'm going to put my hand in here and I'm going to get out some of these little counters. Now I don't know how many are here. So what do I do when I don't know how many? I could subitize them and have a good guess. My guess is, oh, I think I've got six. But then I always need to check to be sure. So into the first feeding tube, I'm going to put six of these little counters. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can even see a few of them coming out the end. Then I'm going to reach in here and grab another handful of counters. Ooh. Oh, I've got a bit of a bigger handful this time. This time, I think I've got about nine. All right, so I know I've got six plus, I'm going to feed my monster on the other side this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, I'm really good at supertizing. So, my hungry monster is going to eat six and nine more counters for breakfast. I wonder how many that makes. Six and nine or six plus nine. So, excuse me, monster, I'm just going to take off your head for a moment, pop you over to the side so everyone can see what I am doing. Then I'm going to... Just um, hold down the edge here and I'm going to put them on my tense frame. Let's check you guys can see. One, two, this is how mathematicians count. Three, four, five. I don't have a tense frame. Just put them in lines of five so it looks like tense frames and we can subitize them quickly. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Five and five more makes ten. We know that from our friends of ten. So one more than ten is eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oops, this one's a marble. Fourteen and fifteen. Or I could even count them by fives. Five, ten, fifteen. Six and nine more makes fifteen. Have fun, everybody. Do this as many times as you like. Make your numbers bigger. Make them smaller. Just keep on having a go at getting your addition facts. Tomorrow we are going to learn how to record them. Bye, everybody.